folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. I've gone a bit sensual today. Uh, I've turned the lights off in my house, just using some spotlights so you can see the nice little lights uh, in the background. Don't know, just felt like doing it. I did a Twitter poll the other day to kick off our new themed month. It was either Cheesecake Month or British Recipe Month. Now with me being British, although a lot of you seem to think I'm Australian. Oh, truth, mate, throw a shrimp on a barbie, all that stuff. I am British, uh, so we can do loads of British recipes. I am gonna feel this month for it. And on Facebook, you guys were like bombarding me with ideas. We're gonna start off with a shepherd's pie. It's a perfect winter warmer. You can actually freeze it and then just blast it in the grill for 10 minutes ahead of time. So you're gonna love it. If you'd like to have a go, you need to hit pause while I click my fingers. All right. Hit pause, route down these ingredients. I used to love shepherd's pie as a kid, but this one I've pimped up a little bit, as you'll see. We'll get our mashed potato on first of all. So in a saucepan of water that's nearly hitting boiling point, chuck in your potatoes. Now I'm using baby potatoes that I've sliced up and I've kept the skin on, okay? I'm doing a little bit of a twist on my mash, as you'll find out. If you are wondering, like I was, what is the difference between a shepherd's pie and a cottage pie? Apparently years ago, there never actually was a difference. It was just any meat you had left over and you smother potato on the top. But apparently as the years have gone on, you know, like the monkey turning into the human, uh, the shepherd's pie now relates to lamb because of shepherds and stuff. Yeah. So for the filling, get some oil into a deep saucepan and the first thing we're going to dump in is an onion that's been chopped up and some carrots that have also been diced. Get them all in there and we're going to cook them around for around about five minutes just to initially soften them up and weep. I don't know why I use the word weep, but just weep and soften up those onions. Next thing we're gonna add in is our lamb mince, okay? Now I used to find lamb particularly bland. I've actually done a lamb month. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, there's a little link that I'll put up here and also down below. So it's really important to ram it full of flavor. We're gonna cook it in that pan until it starts to all go brown through. And any of the fat that's in there, I'm just gonna keep cooking it in there so it renders off, but you can, if you wish, drain that away. So when it's like that, it's a little bit bland. We're gonna ramp that flavor up, give it a good seasoning of salt and pepper. Also jump in some, jump in? You're not gonna jump in, you're gonna dump in some tomato puree, a good squeeze on that. Uh, some Worcester sauce, splash that on there, nice and tangy. You could maybe use Marmite or Vegemite as an alternative. And also pour on your beef stock. Give that a good old mix through together. It will smell amazing. Why is it every time I cook, you suddenly appear? Hey? Unbelievable. And once it's at simmering point, simply turn the heat down, stick your lid on. We're gonna cook that for a good 15 minutes, which is a great time to work on our mash. When it comes to making the mashed potato for a shepherd's pie, my mum used to make them, it was just mashed potato, and that is pretty much the standard way, but I wanted to pimp mine up. So if you've written down the ingredients, you'll see the actual stuff I put in there. So like the milk and butter, as you would put in mashed potato, but I added a few other ingredients. And remember, the skin is still on my potato, so it's a little bit of a rustic vibe, getting it all mashed together. Once your potato's all done, you can leave it to one side, where you return to your meat, take the lid off, and let it simmer down again for another 10 minutes. The smells in the kitchen are gonna be incredible. You will be flaring your nostrils like that. Best of God. With the lamb mince all nice and simmered down, simply grab a baking dish and pour that in there straight from the pan and spread it all out nice and evenly. Get your mashed potato that's probably nice and cool by now and simply dollop it on top before spreading it around all over. As a kid, I remember my mum raking the top of her shepherd's pie with a fork and most people do that. So feel free to do that in the style of a cat optional cat noise if you wish, creates these nice little lumps. Now, if you're making this ahead, you can just shove this in the freezer for up to a month, and then all you do is move on to this step. So obviously I was cooking it straight away, shoved it under my grill for a good 15 minutes to char the top. Once it came out looking all bubbly, it was smelling amazing, looking gorgeous, absolutely loving it. Feel free to season it as you wish. I simply added some extra parsley on top. When you take a wedge out of it, it is looking rather stonking indeed. That is it then folks, I think Lizzie is rather excited about recipe month. Those of you that keep asking, I use her to help me focus my camera. Uh, so if you try this recipe, send me a picture at My Virgin Kitchen. Any tweaks you do, I'd love to know. I'll probably try them out for myself. Uh, let me know down below any more British recipes you have got for this month. I'm gonna cram it full of Australian, good night mate, no, British recipes. See you guys, bye bye.